How's everyone doing and welcome to today's episode of the top 10 most expensive Pokemon booster packs. Today we're obviously going to count down the 10 most expensive booster packs that you can get out there today on the market. If you like this video and this channel, please go ahead before we start and like, comment down below, smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you like, share with some friends and watch till the end. It always helps out a small content creator, much like myself, if you were to do those things. So let's get into it. Let's get to today's top 10 most expensive booster packs. Today at number 10, we have ourselves a singular pack of Fossil with an estimated value of $180 for one single booster pack. These came out in 1999 or roughly around there and they hold a very special spot to every kid who started collecting Pokemons when Wizards of the Coast came out with making them. So obviously these booster packs are very far few and in between today. So if you're somebody like me who collected back then, obviously these packs hold a true spot to your heart. It has a high value of $197 and a low value of $165. So in the middle is about $181, meaning $180. At number nine, we have ourselves the Unleashed Booster Pack. This was a fan favorite. And let me tell you, for $200, I hope you can get your luck's worth with pull out pulls out of these. Because for $200, you can get yourself almost two booster boxes, which is insane. One booster pack or 72 booster packs. Your choice. Kind of nuts if you ask me. At number eight, we have ourselves a first edition pack of Team Rocket. The original Team Rocket from the 90s. Cheapest you can find for a first edition of this is $205 off of eBay, but you can get lucky and throw an offer in to a said person in hopes that they will take a slightly less amount than given. Nonetheless, this booster goes for $200 plus. Number seven, we have ourselves the other 90s fan favorite. You're going to see a lot of 90s stuff in here, by the way. We have uh, the uh, first edition from Gym at Challenge, Wizards of the Coast, with Serena on it, going for $259.99, basically $260. No best offer. This is the cheapest you're going to find off of eBay for some first edition Gym Challenge Pokemon cards. At number six, we have ourselves Call of Legends. This booster pack goes for $270 on the median estimated value. The lowest this card has been pack has been bought recently is $245. And the highest this pack has been bought is $338. So the estimated value of this is going for $270. Call of Legends was actually in the Walmart mystery boxes that you could buy. You had about a one in, I don't know, a hundred chance of getting it, probably more than that. It was on the front page advertising that and trying to entice you to buy the box, but if you bought it like myself, you will see that odds are you did not get a Call of Legends booster pack. At number five, we have ourselves the OG of OGs, the Unlimited Base Set Booster Pack, going for an estimated value of $400. Believe it or not, I bought one of these packs about a year ago, maybe a little longer. No, about it. No, actually, less than a year ago, eight months ago, and it was actually going for $200 off of eBay. I look back today, the cheapest you can buy is $400. It's absolutely insane that this booster pack has literally doubled in value in the past six months. Do not want to know what it's going to be in the next couple of months. At number four, we have ourselves the uh, fan favorite Pokemon. Oh, I could never say this right even as a kid. It was such a tongue twister. Acapolis, however you say it, everyone loves it. I sadly never got the chance to collect it. No, I lied. I did get open a few of those packs, but I was just a kid and, you know, kid has to go through his parents to get it. So, 
I didn't get too many of these, but the current value is $760. And let me tell you, no matter where you buy it from, it's expensive. Even with the shipping being $38, averaging this up to pretty much $800, it is the cheapest you'll be able to find on eBay. Make an offer, hope for the best, cross your fingers, dye your eyes, because the only way to buy this is to really open up that wallet. Now, coming in at number three, we have ourselves one of my personal favorites, the Sky Ridge Booster Pack. Coming from 2003, by the way, Acropolis came from 2002. This one, literally the cheapest you can get is 750 euros, approximately making it $808 in US currency. With $21 in shipping, this booster pack is going for about $830, and that is the cheapest you are going to find on eBay. So, if you're a fan favorite of Sky Ridge, unless you're rich, like Lean Hart spending 40 grand on a booster box of this, I'm sorry, the chances of you collecting and mastering this set are slim to none. At number two, we have a super fan favorite with the first edition Lugia that literally makes people marvel in awe that they had this car when they were a child and did not keep it safe. It is from 2002, the Neo Genesis first edition booster box, I'm sorry, booster pack, going for $1,493 US dollars. With $20, $21 in shipping there, this booster pack, I keep saying box because it's so expensive, this booster pack is going for over $1,500. Cheapest you're gonna find out there on eBay. It is a first edition, so best of luck with being able to uh, find that first edition Lugia. Unless, like I said, you got those deep pockets. These booster packs are sadly out of most every collector's reach. Now, for the number one most expensive booster pack that there is on the market right now, it is going to, of course, hold the most expensive Pokemon card out there, which is a first edition holographic Charizard with no shadow on him from the 90s. And yes, if you guess saying the first edition shadow is a base set booster pack, then you are correct. The cheapest you can find, which funny enough has a Charizard on the front cover, is $3,800 with make an offer on it. At least you have free local shipping and free uh, regular shipping. So for $3,800, you can try your luck and pull the first edition Shadowless Charizard from there. If you end up doing it, $3,800 can turn into a getting a PSA grade and a hitting a 10, can get you over a quarter of a million dollars. So is it worth the gamble? No, not at all. Because the odds of you pulling that are so slim, it's pretty sad. Plus you got a lot of people out there who try to, you know, scam people and stuff. So unless you're buying it and you're having everything authenticated, videotaped, watched by a professional with other people witnessing it, I would stay clear of this for sure. But if you're out there ready to risk it for the biscuit, go ahead and drop those four Gs for your chance of a first edition hollow list, hollow Charizard hollow list. <sighs> Okay, so that does it for today's top 10 most expensive booster packs currently out there on the market for value-wise. If you enjoyed today's content, please go ahead and smash that like button. Comment down below what you thought of today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Share it to a friend. Turn on those noties. And thank you for watching till the very end. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And... We'll catch you on the next video. Keep those pockets safe. I know if you're like me, they're pretty shallow. Don't go out there and buy those packs. Keep it to the sleeve packs that you can buy off of the Pokemon Center or off of Target or Walmart, any other retail store. Have a great day, everyone. We'll catch you on the next video.